Critical match. A hybrid platformer puzzler. Stack atoms to match shapes and keep the reaction going. Okay. I'll take these. I'll take those. I'll take this. Can I swap them? Probably not. Um. Oh, you can take individuals afterwards. It's kind of wonky how this controls. Oh, I see. So we have to do what it says up there. I didn't notice that before. We're playing Puyo Tetris in a different way. Oh, look at that. It's about time. Now the question is, does it have to be in the same direction? Yes, it does. I get it. Moving on, let me kill that bot, even though it's still going to be in my chat. All right. Euchre. Once hailed as the most popular game in America, Euchre is a fast-paced card game that requires cunning and strategy to win. Try your hand against three CPU opponents. It only takes 20 minutes to learn, but a lifetime to master. I'm not taking 20 minutes to learn this game. Rules. Score 10 points. Why are you leaving cards in the kitty? I get it. Play. I ain't beating them. Um. Oh, it's gonna make me choose to play that? Okay. I guess it doesn't matter, I have all queens, so I can just get rid of, uh, anything. That could still potentially win, if all of their cards suck, though. God damn it. Wait, no, Jack is highest. Is it not? I thought Jack was highest! Does Ace become highest if it's not the same thing? God damn it.
No thanks. Why did he choose clubs if he didn't have a club to play? Okay, I guess that is the case. Jack is not the highest card, unless it is the same color, at least. Wow! This game sucks. Alright. Moving on. Mellow Jellos too. You bought magic jellies. You tried to eat them. Just to find out they're as hard as a rock. Oh no. We're fucked. Uh, Dr. Mario, but they're squares? Sounds like Sesame Street music. This is just... Like columns, isn't it? Do we gotta make amounts? Three in a row? Okay. Do we do diagonals? Probably. Let's go us cross here. Alright. Um, the plan is this will go here. Let's get rid of all this junk. Get rid of all that junk. God damn it, it's not getting rid of the junk I wanted it to get rid of. Alright. Wait, what? They just have to touch? I don't understand anymore. I don't know how these work. What is happening? Is it just a visual glitch of it falling? Yeah, I guess they couldn't make it look like it was falling, so it just looks fucking weird as shit. Desert golfing. This looks like it's scorched earth, actually. Oh no, it's party golf. Oh Jesus. Oh, uh, wrong way. We're going the other way. Yeah, okay. Oh, that is the hole, I see. No. Too far! It got harder. Not far enough! Oh, there's wind. Unexpected. There we go. You know, on a bored Sunday afternoon, this would not have upset me as a kid. But it does today. Next! Did I look at the write-up for that? No, I did not. Fan port of the 1980 handheld device from Parker Brothers. Oh my- This- This game full of games has a game with full of games! There's eight fucking options. 
Wait a minute, I had one of these! This is that thousand and one, like, Tetris game. This is not the one I have. Wow, fun game. Can I choose something else on there? Nope. Oh, now it's invisible! Trying to capture. This is harder than it should be. I hate this. Squirrel Domino! Read the write up. Guide dominoes into your play field and use them to erase squares. Lines of four or more appear of a color disappear. I hate this font. Oh my god. Ah! This is just... This is just Dr. Mario. I thought the, that last one was gonna be Dr. Mario, but this one's the one. I was gonna fall when I did that. I don't know what free swap. What? What do you mean free swap? What's that's supposed? To... Whatever. Next, Squish, an infinite runner based on a personal stuffed cat. No music or anything, we didn't need it. Cool! Next! Oh, we made it to level three. I mean, screen three. That'll be a bunch of no nonsense over there. There's so many things on the screen! Aspect of Star N. This might be the only thing we do tonight. At least it's a variation of, a, like, a lot of games. Utilize the three aspects to defeat your enemies and move on to the next stage. All the other ones only lasted, like, two hours, and we're getting close to that now, and we're only on screen three. Help Nicole and her stuffed animal friends zip defeat an evil alliance that was for Nah. All of these could be a really short. We've been get the the first screen looked like it was the quality shit. We've been getting into some trash now. It's the cat again. Let's -a go. What the fuck? What? 
Oh, I see. Okay. Or I thought I saw. Can I shoot? Yeah, there it is. Alright. I've had enough Banana Nana DX Nana is searching to bring peace back into her land. For this, she needs to find the three golden bananas to become the queen. She needs more po power for more domination, ultimately, for peace. Zelda? Banan from the giant monkey. What did that do for me? Oh, I'm dead. Boy, I'm sure glad I played that game. Bushido Bomb. Light your opponent's fuse without getting yourself blown up in this one hit kill platform fighter inspired by a similarly titled PS1 classic. Totally solved. Ah! Jesus! This guy can jump? Okay, this looks like it's a two player only game. That's fun. Three levels. Next! Cowlitz Gamers. Guide Kaylee and her brother Justice through the recently thawed mines of Noah Island in the difficulty ramp third entry of Cowlitz Gamers Adventure Series. another one of these. This one's a lot less floaty than the last one. It feels more like a... I don't know, a Spectrum game? Music's trying a little too hard. Not for sure this was the way down. Oh. That there boy was made out of gold. entirely sure what to do in this room. But I also don't care. This game's kind of boring. Falling. Avoid obstacles and collect coins while falling through the sky. Grab hot dogs to restore health.
Why is it Jordy LaForge? Jordy LaForge in the sky! He can fall twice as far! This doesn't rhyme. Cool game. Let's see night mode before we quit. Cool game. Get it. Get the items, avoid the enemies, collect lots of gems, reach the highest level. Get it. Get it. Get it. What secret collect? Other than boring. <laughs> Moogle's not wrong! Let's let it continue to be a secret. All right, Grunio Zerka. Is this game strong bad created? That does not improve my opinion of it. Get Grunio. Oh, we're back to the hamster thing again, the guinea pig. Uh, to eat the falling space carrots, but he's picky. He'll only eat carrots that match his fur color. I'm not currently, oh, I see. This game does not deserve this music. Fun. Got the high score. Mlem! Intergalactic. Boost the fate of each signal until it covers the entire sector in this collaborative effort made for the blah blah blah. Major job, Bonson. I'm pressing B. There it goes. Let's see. Okay. I understand now. Do I gotta land immediately on it? Or something? Am I supposed to cover the entire screen? That's impossible. Maybe it's not.
did it. I hate it. Leak or die. Open crates by dropping them through a split screen spanning portal. Both players cooperate to activate the portal by the aligning the two ends. I'm not going to be able to do this, but let's see what it is. Why is it sometimes green? Guess we've got to stand in certain spots and have the other guy do something. Don't care! Lights out. Turn off all the lights in this fan port of the 1995 handheld device from Tiger Electronics. Cool. Oh! It's one of these. Quiet. We're down to two. <laughs> All right. I sure fucked this. There was probably a solution seven years ago. There it is. Number ten. I always like this kind of puzzle. Come on, motherfucker! I want to turn them all on at this rate. I made it worse!
Fuck! We're down to one dot. How do you get rid of one dot? Like that. That's how you do it. Do this. I need to get this to, like, a star. Back to one dot again. What the fuck? Wow, this puzzle's an asshole. I don't care anymore. 